I'm Stuart McConkey here at Titans of CNC, and in this video, we're gonna go over the Heimer Tool Balancer. This is a great machine that is used to balance tool holders for high RPM machining. It's commonly used in shrink fit, which we just went over in our previous video. Since we have our kettle metal dual lock all shrink fit together, we are now gonna complete the process and throw it in the balancer. The balancer is great and features this touch screen, which allows you to quickly navigate and go through, put in all the information needed about the holder, which it will then use to calculate the exact amount of weight that we will need to add into the side of the holder. This is one of the many balancing techniques. We will be using this one where we will add weighted screws. Weighted screws are exactly what they sound like. We have all kinds of different weights that we can use in any combination. So that way we could get the exact weight needed to balance the tool. So let's get started. I already have my tool clamped and placed into the balancer. I'm going to go to my test screen, go ahead and hit cycle start. We already have our tool locked in place with our 40 taper adapter. After we go through and run this first cycle, we will then unclamp it, rotate it 180 degrees, and then reclamp it. This is the best way to have the best accuracy when it comes to balancing tools. This machine is easy to use. With simply one button, we can turn it around and unclamp it, reclamp it again, and hit cycle start. Just like that, it'll go through and populate and do all the math that it needs and give us exactly where we need to add our weight. We have this set up to test for a 2.5G which is a universal G rating. Right now it's reading at a 10 G, which only allows us to go 5,700 RPM. So we're gonna go through and add some weight so that way we can get it back up to the 2.5 G standard. We can go through and see exactly where we need to put weight and how much weight. We have two positions that we need to add weight to calibrate it and get it back to its 2.5 G rating. Our first position is gonna be at 135 degrees, where we will add 0.26 grams. I already have my screw placed out, that is that appropriate weight. Now we'll go ahead and add it now. Just as it sounds, we can lift up the hood, go in and take our screw, and we'll simply screw it all the way into the base of the tool holder in this particular thread. We've gone ahead and measured it and populated it into our settings tab. So that way our machine could properly math exactly where to position this weight. So now we can go ahead and screw this in. All right, I have my weight properly installed into my tool holder. I'll go ahead and just rerun this so that way we can double check that everything is set correctly. One of the great things about this is how quickly you can go through, make a change to your weight, and then go through and restart the test. It allows you to make small adjustments and get the tool closer to its proper balance. Just like before, I'll rotate it 180 and hit cycle start. So that way we can have the most accurate number So we've gone ahead, we've added our weight, and we now have our full report. We are at a 1.2 G rating. So that's actually better than the 2.5 G standard. We can easily go to 25,000 RPM with this particular setup and get great harmonics. This will allow better tool life, a more stable surface finish, and overall a better cutting experience. Now that it's all balanced, we can print a label or a certification that that tool has gone through and been balanced to the proper requirements. Very easy to use. We can go ahead and just click print and we should be able to print out our label. Once we have the label, then we can put it on our tool cart or we can go through and place it with our documentation. So that way the setup guy knows that the tool has been properly balanced for his program. Now that we have it all balanced, we can simply take it out. We can place it in our Heimer tool presetter, go through and find our exact height and preset it for our future setups, or we can go ahead and place this directly in the machine 
and start our setup process. If you like our videos, make sure and hit like and subscribe to our channel for any future CNC content.